Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you some of my favorite eco makeup this summer. I'm going to get started with the Fit Glow Correct Plus. I have this in the shade Peach. It's excellent at canceling out darkness under the eyes or elsewhere on the face. This is my second tube of this. Not a perfect product for me just because I feel like it kicks up some shine underneath the eyes, which has become a huge pet peeve of mine, but it is effective and I like it. This is the Salt New York Sneaky Balm. I use the shade N12 under my eyes and N11 everywhere else on my face. I have been reaching for this probably the most this summer as my base complexion product just because it's really quick. The coverage is amazing. It's really, really easy to blend in. You can see I no longer use a beauty blender. Brush is where it's at. I do not have time for a beauty blender. Uh, and I just love the Salt Sneaky Balm. This is the Rye Brow Grooming Serum and the Plume Eye Pencil. The Rye Brow Grooming Serum was sent to me initially by Beauty Heroes. It's quite an expensive brow gel, but I totally fell in love. I've gone on to purchase my own tube and I am like a forever customer. While that sets, I'm gonna powder under my eyes with the Haute Cosmetics Bio Foundation in the shade Almond. This is a new discovery for me and I could do a whole video on it. I, I'm really intrigued by this brand. And now I'm gonna finish filling in my brows with the Plume Pencil in Chestnut Decadence. This is quite a laborious process. I have been also playing around with the Care Weiss Brow Gel in one of the darker shades, which cuts down on the amount of time I have to fill in with the Plume Pencil, but I do love this combination. This is the Vapor Bronzing Powder in the shade Eclipse. They've since come out with another shade of this product. I like it a lot. It's maybe a tad orange on me. I really didn't need to use it today for the look that I was going for, but I just kind of wanted to show you the most amount of products possible. I also just love this huge Surratt face brush. This is the Natasha Denona Mini Crush Palette, and that's the shade Lotus. I have so many mattify, neut neutralize, define the lid type of shadows. This is my favorite go-to look, just kind of sculpt the lid in a very neutral, effortless way. Curling my lashes with Surratt Releve, the lash curler I've been using exclusively for four or five years now. It just fits my eye shape really, really well. Gressa Eye Tint in Obscure. This is one of my favorite lower lash line colors of all time. Also have really been liking the Manasi 7 um, eye color. I think the shade is Sublime. It's a little bit lighter than this. I've also really been liking taking my lower lash line color all the way into the inner corner, which is kind of weird because it's summer, but I just like a really defined lower lash line lately for some reason. This is the Antonym Eye Pencil in Noir. I am tight lining with this. Sometimes I will also just smudge this into the lash line and press powder over top. Really easy, really effortless. I no longer use anything else. This is the Manasi 7, I think the Precision Mascara it's called. Again, only been testing this a short amount of time, but so far so good. It wears well on me. It's not the most volumizing, but it's very, um, defining, it gives very fluffy, fanned out lashes that I'm into. Really good on the lower lashes as well. This is the Manasi 7 Bronze Lighter in the shade Roseat. This is a rose gold bronzer highlight combo. I've never really used a product like this and it's taken a little trial and error, but I do like this application. Never worn a bronzer of this tonality and I think it's really pretty for summer. I also like it in the inner corners a lot. Kind of the star of the show for me lately has been the Manasi 7 all over color in Etruscan, Etruscan. This is a perfect milky pink. Lips and cheeks, uh, this is just 
an everyday staple for me now. It's kind of everything I wanted. This is the Carewise Lip Pencil in the shade Bare. This will be a definite repurchase for me. It just helps to define the lips and goes with everything. One tiny bit of powder left just to get rid of that shine under my eyes. And that's it. I feel like this is just fresh, pretty, easy, effortless. Thanks for watching.